welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna learn how to unicycle. So, what is a unicycle? Really, it's just a one-wheel bike. I'm not that great at it, but I can kind of do it sometimes. So, hooray, go team. Um, so, I'm gonna teach a random person today, see if we can learn it in, what, like 10 minutes, maybe? I think that's like a good amount of time. So, let's get started. You, random, come here. She's not actually random, but that's okay. Have you ever unicycled before? No. First thing you wanna check, this should be about at your belly button or a little lower. What you want to do, so I'm going to use you to balance me and then you're going to repeat it. So okay. she's going to lean on me. You want to get one pedal down. So when you step, it scoops under you. So if the pedal is too far, it's going to scoop with too much force and kind of buck you off. Start with your body already on top of the seat. Stand on it and then sit down. Okay. So a lot of people just kind of hold themselves up here and then they fall. Lean it against your leg. So I have left foot dominant with this, so I lean it into my thigh and then I step up and then I sit. So tilt the seat under you, so when you step, it brings you on top of it. See, sitting is hard. Unicycles are complicated. Hard. There you go. And then lean it against your right thigh. Yes. Close. Lean it, yep. And then step up when you can. Lean it against your right thigh. So I do, this pedal is slightly towards me. When I step, see how it scoots back? Yeah. So you're doing the other way. So get it slightly towards you, so when you step, it will roll back. You're starting with the seat a little too high right now. So go lower? Yeah, so I started already under me. Okay. And so you have it in front and then you try to get on top of it. So here, and it's against my thigh. So I can even step for a moment. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Now sit on the seat entirely. Good. And then from here, look in front of you. And then what you want to do to go, you just you need to keep it in motion. If you notice, you can't coast on a unicycle. So all you're going to do is start pedaling and I'll hold you and stay tight. Go team. Okay. Go. Almost. Good catch though. <laughs> Step on with your right foot. Yeah. Get that left foot. There it is. Uh-huh. Oh. Try to keep your weight straight up and down. Uh-huh. Because. Okay. All right, so we're having a bit of trouble, which is totally natural. Things like this just take a lot of time. So let's break it down into steps. Step one, make sure the height is between belly button and hips. It really varies on the person, but if it's too high, it's really hard to get on top of it. Yeah. Step two. Step two, you wanna make sure the pedal, when you get your foot on it, it's on the ball of your foot, not the heel of your foot. And when you step on it, it rolls back towards you. Step three, use your thigh so it can lean against to support you. So when I step up, there's a moment where I float because it's using my thigh. I'm not even using my right foot. Step four, if you have someone or a wall, lean on it or grab the wall. When you get your body up, so I'm already seated on it, I then get my right foot on top. And then just get used to sitting for a moment. Core is tight, you don't want to lean backwards. The place your chest goes is where you go. So if you want to go forward, you want to lean slightly forward. When you get better at this, you can kind of break the rules and do what you want. But if I want to go forward, oops, I'm falling. <laughs> if I want to go forward, I want to lean slightly forward. But make sure the seat is high enough for you, which is not for me right now. My right hand will be here. So if I'm by myself and I don't have friends to help me, and then I can trace the wall with my hand as I go. And same thing to go backwards. She's gonna step up, lean into your right thigh, use that wall, you can use me as well if you need, and then just go at your own pace. Keep your weight on top of the seat. That's okay. See, that's why you have a spotter to help you so you don't have bad things happen. <laughs> now lean into your back, sit on the seat entirely now, so don't try to hold yourself up. Look forward and then just pedal. Yeah, remember, you have to move for it to move. Good. Oh, look, progress. Move backwards is advanced. Keep going for it. Okay, so remember, sit strong, core tight, and then start pedaling. If you don't pedal, it won't go. Okay. Ready? Stay there. Here, back on top. Another trick you can do if you're having issues getting on it, you can block it with your foot if you're spotting them to keep it in place so they can set up easier. Mm -hmm. Or fall into a fire, that's cool too. True, sure. that's why you spot it. Cool, so. Okay, so huh? No, I was just gonna say, so starting over low. Mm -hmm. Step on it so the pedal swings in. towards you. In your thigh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You can block the wheel if you need. So when you step on it, it should roll back towards you. Good. And then. <laughs> Five for it. So bring it toward, yeah. It's a different thing. Yeah, there you go. And sit on it entirely if you can. Good. And then bring your left arm out to help balance you. 
and sit strong so your weight, like if a stick was on you, you'd be like straight up and down, so weight okay. push down. You need to pedal to be able to go. Okay. If you don't move, you're gonna fall immediately. Okay. So just start pedaling, ready? I'm gonna move my foot and pedal. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, I know this video says learn a unicycle in 10 minutes. Surprise, you can't actually learn in 10 minutes unless you're like a prodigy. It takes time. It took me an entire summer learning a unicycle. Fastest I've seen people learn to ride forward is about two weeks, but like they were committed to it and they were gifted. You have almost all the gifts. So the only thing she's lacking is unicycle skills. The only thing? The only thing. So if you are also one of the only things that you're lacking is unicycle skills, give it time, just commit to it. Um, again, have a spotter if you're starting off. Wear a helmet. In fact, I have a helmet. Go, go, have a but don't be discouraged if you don't learn it super fast. We didn't learn these skills super fast. It took us a long time to be able to do them and then even longer to be able to teach them effectively. So just be safe, learn at your own pace, and just have fun along the way. Remember, make sure to like, Comment, subscribe, let us know what other videos you want to see, what you want to learn, what you want us to do. That's just fun and exciting to watch. And we'll make that content.